Hello guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of decorating this modern apartment that Corrales built. I'd like to get started with the bathroom design today, but first, this is the open floor plan that we started on the first episode. Now, I know a bunch of you guys in the second episode had some qualms about where I placed the, bad the bathroom and the bedroom. And this is originally where I went with the bedroom idea at, and I'd like to redeem myself. <laughs> I would like to change the way you guys feel about my bedroom decorating skills but I really really want y'all to tell me where I should put it now this is a really open floor plan and I did some research I looked at some pictures and I thought about it and I really don't want the bed a wide out in the open I really want a separated portion of the room so I thought about a couple things I can come out with this wall and we can put the kitchen in kind of the same places we had it last time, which is in this section, but a little bit smaller. And we can go with the bedroom here. Or we can put the bedroom here and extend this wall out and close it a little bit. But that would leave access to the bathroom off. I don't want to mess with the patio any because I'm going to do some cool stuff with the patio later. Um, and I can also put the bedroom next to this balcony area. And that would be that would leave me kind of wanting to close this area off for the bedroom. So I really don't know which you guys can point me to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of leave it up to you. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, where you'd like to see the bedroom. I know Corrales had some specific intentions on the other apartment, but not so much this one. So not that I can tell from the videos, at least. At any rate, you guys, I want you all to be satisfied with the build. And um, I want to get started on the bathroom today. So this is what we're going to do. The bathroom is a little bit precarious because if we go down here, this is the bedroom from the last one. So not that I would mind the white ceiling in this one, but in order to get a little bit more flexibility, we might have to change out a little bit of this floor. Now, let's just say that this bathroom is going to be beautiful. I, I want a big, lush bathtub. I mean, like the kind of tub that you would see in the, in really, really nice bathrooms. So we're going to make it big, like a garden tub. And to do that, I'm probably going to need to go with quartz stairs. We're also going to try to make this apartment a lot more modern, since the last one wasn't quite as modern as you guys would have liked. Okay, this is a humongous tub, right? But it's not quite, I don't like the way it does with the floor and I think it needs some more depth with it. So if we would change this out to slabs of quartz instead, how would that look? It would look, I think that looks beautiful. That is a really, really nice looking tub. So the question remains, what do we do about the window access? I think that some banners might actually help this out. Let's also, let's grab some white banners. Let's grab item frames. And let's grab something, I know what we can grab. We'll keep the same theme going. So we'll do two item frames here with the crackstone bricks twisted at one click. And then we'll put the, ah uh, yes, 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 yes. We'll do some curtains right here. And I'm thinking, oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'm thinking that we should do, oh, that was probably supposed to be clear. There we go. I'm thinking that we might should do one layer up like this as well. That will cover up, hmm, maybe maybe the item frames need to actually come out and go to the top here so let's do the item frames here instead and with the crackstone bricks just like so and then we can put the curtains like so so we have two long draped curtains two mid-sized curtains and one in the middle and that kind of does that kind of does good justice for that. Now, I do want to see how it looks outside. Actually, let's take a look outside the balcony here and see what this back area looks like. It does, in fact, show the wood, which I'm not particularly fond of. But we could do kind of the same thing here in order to make do. 
something like that. And that way, from the outside, it really doesn't look bad. It kind of looks like the reflection of a curtain. So I'm okay with that. I don't know why my frames are so bad right now. <laughs> like I'm getting like, I was getting like 14 frames a second when I was looking around. I don't know, maybe something with the updates. Uh, it is a little bit, it is a little bit weird to look at with the reflections like that. But I think I can, I think I can deal with that. I think I'm all right with that. Okay, so now we got to probably install some fixtures for it. Let's do a button. Can we do, is wood buttons or stone buttons going to do a better job or is item frames and maybe those same banners going to do better? Uh, if I put a stone button right here, hmm, I don't know. If I put a wood button right here, nope, definitely the stone button would work out better. But I'm thinking that we're not even going to have a shower in this section, I don't believe. I think it's just going to be a tub. And I think we're going to do, let's try, if we did two item frames right here with the banners inside, that would probably work pretty well. So let's do, let's do two different banners here. Let's do, we'll get blue or actually let's just do lapis, lapis. And then we'll do rose red. And we'll need a crafting bench naturally. I don't know why the texture pack doesn't show them just off just like that, but you can't pull them out of creative without doing this. So we'll just um, we'll make a couple of adjustments to this like so. All right, so now we've got a blue banner. And we'll take the red and do kind of the same thing. White banner. Red. And we'll switch this to red. All right, now we've got a blue and a red banner. And we can use these in the item frames for hot and cold. Right? Just like that. And we can actually twist these any way that we'd like. That's probably a better way. It looks like <laughs> it looks like two crazy eyes right here, huh? Maybe yeah, maybe right there. That looks a little bit less like eyes. <laughs> always looking, always seeing faces in Minecraft things. I think I've been playing this game too long sometimes. Anyway, we're going to keep it like that. So, it's weird now that we don't now that we have so much tub, it's weird that we really we need a place for a toilet. Um <laughs> I think maybe the toilet should be indiscriminately put in the corner <laughs> so let's do that um, let's do a stairway right here a court stair and we'll do our typical toilet weighted pressure plate there we go and we're gonna have to pop out at bottom and see how that looks as well let's do the beloved toilet paper design I know you guys love 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 when I do toilet paper. We're doing a quartz pillar today. That's what you guys like. I am not going to disappoint. So if we did just a quartz pillar, it kind of isn't quite enough. So let's go with the button. All right, so now we have item frame, button, no. <laughs> button, item frame, and quartz pillar. That's how you guys like it, right? <laughs> I'm hoping so, at least. Okay, so we need to do a little bit with lighting in here as well. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Now it's way too dark to even see. Let me grab one of these things. Also, let's check out the floor and how this made it look from underneath. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to fix that. That isn't really a problem, though. Let's go ahead and change all of this to the quartz. That way, or I can just do the middle too and have the outline. I don't know how exactly if I miss that one more time, I swear. All right. So that puts us to where it's all it's all like that. Um, and then 
we can actually do this for an entrance into the tub. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Like, I don't see, I don't see that being bad at all. Okay, so we've already got white going. We need something off white. What does snow look like in this resource pack? And does it show any different than, yeah, it does. So that's like a little bath mat. We'll go ahead and take, we'll have a white and gray towel. So let's do, let's take our banners and we'll do another crafting bench. Why does not crafting? Oh. I don't know why my crafting bench doesn't come up. There it is. Oh, workbench maybe. Ben no, <laughs> it's not coming up at all. There. I don't know why it didn't appear. That's so strange, man. Okay, let's get a white and gray banner going on here. So I think I could do light gray dye. So let's search for that. Light gray dye, there we go. And we can just do like a little, I think it's a gradient that I can do to make it look pretty good. So let's take a white banner that we had before. Um, actually, white banner. Okay, and we'll just replace it with this for now. Okay, and we'll put the white in here, and I think the gradient, if I'm not mistaken, is, that's the recipe you're looking for. And I tried it with the light gray, and it just seems a little bit too light, so I'm gonna go ahead with the regular gray gradient, and we're gonna try that. Yeah, that's a nice looking little towel design. Um, if I were to say anything about the the specific design so far, I would think that we would need some sort of piece of furniture here. And I know there's no cracked stone brick. What's on the outside of here? This looks like the other bathroom, okay? So if we were to do some sort of cabinet area, how would we do that? I would probably venture to say that we can come out with something like this and how about iron trap doors for like some really modern looking cabinets? And now we're going to have to power them, which may not necessarily be hard to do. Let's see. Lever. So yeah, that does look like a nice little set of modern cabinets. It is a little bit, it is a little bit too outspoken, but there's no real way to do that. Hmm. What if, yeah, really and truly it's not, it's, it, we would have to come out, we, we could come out maybe two right here and do the same thing, although it wouldn't really show. Man, this is so hard to decide what to do here because as you can see my little dilemma, I'm really, really, it's really, really hard to go with space, and I, I actually need a sink. So what I think I'm going to do here, hmm, the outside, I think I would need to do a vanity. <laughs> Maybe a little sink right here would do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try the cauldron. I'm gonna try doing the cauldron thing. We'll have the cauldron. We'll have, yeah, cause there's really no room on this wall either unless I would turn the toilet, but that would be a little strange too. And when you walk in, it's just, it would be a little bit too crowded I think. With that large tub, it's really hard to decide what to do. Okay, let's just try this. Let's go with the lever on top, just like this and what if we just did this like that as some sort of a uh, cabinet because the lever does line up right there just like it would be for water so that does work out pretty well if I fill this with water and on this side that would look pretty good we just wouldn't have a mirror right here and I think 
if I put maybe a little subdivider right here, nothing intrusive, just a little subdivider. And we could probably do the same thing right here. This might be too much. It might be overkill. How's he do it right here with white? So let's go down and make it white right here. Okay, so here it would be, well, <laughs> um, I think I need to do that the other way around, don't you? All right, the toilet's changed up. And <laughs> admittedly, I don't really care for the way that it's positioned, but I really, really, really love the tub design. And even though it's a little claustrophobic, it's not like you need a whole lot of leg room to poopy, right? <laughs> so anyway, now that we have this little cubby, we can do like a nice little double sink here. So we can do something like this and we can fill these with water. And somebody said something about using these for like mirrors. I think that works pretty good for mirrors, honestly. Um, let's do, that's also, instead, these uh, these were originally supposed to be towels, but I think I like them as mirrors as well. Uh, we can do like a little, maybe a little higher than that. And I'm thinking we probably need a light in here, some sort of sophisticated light. Let's just do, oh, we can't do that right here, can we? Hmm, glowstone, we could do possibly lamps right here. How about let's do the sea lanterns. Sea lanterns would be, would look how right here. Actually, that does look pretty good. I can actually take these and put them underneath too. Hmm, yeah, that's not so bad at all. How does that, when when I cover it up, it actually shows too. I could drop this down by one. Man, that is kind of fancy. How about this? How about I take the slab instead and I'll come out like this. And that way it's just like a little light. I do like this a lot. I do like this a lot. Let's take a little bit of our snow here and leave this as like a, uh, a little mat. Can we still go in and out? Yeah, we sure can. Okay, that's nice. I, I actually like this a lot. Uh, we need to do a little shelf here. <laughs> I keep searching for what I want. <laughs> like, like I could just type in shelf and it's going to appear. Uh, we'll do a three like that and we'll take the flower pots. do that and what what kind of flowers are we going to use blue seems to go so very well with all this let's see i could do some jungle saplings let's try a jungle sapling right here and see how that looks that is pretty nice we can do there's really no spot for a plant i could put a plant right here but that would make it a little bit claustrophobic Hmm, yeah, I think we're gonna have to save the plants for another area. <laughs> I could do a small plant, I suppose. But yeah, I think this is probably good right here. I really do. I don't want to make it too busy. We still need to do something with light and I think I'm gonna go with the same theme as I have right here. And we'll do maybe a small light. What if we did a small, what if we did a small hanging light right here? Um, I could do the thing with the iron pressure plates on redstone, I believe. Hmm, I don't think that'll work like that, though. So if I took the iron pressure plates right here and I put them on... Oh, I can't even attach them to a sea lantern. Well, that's interesting. Um, hmm. That is interesting indeed. How can we get light right here? We could use a beacon. You know, we haven't used beacons yet as lamps, and a lot of people do like them as lights. So, what if we would just slap a beacon on right here? I think it would look better on here, yeah. And then we can actually slide the plant over, or we could just do another beacon. And that would be like two lights in here, and it does kind of complement the room. I don't see why that would be a problem at all. Yeah. I think I like that. And that's probably enough light too. 
The only thing that really bothers me, I think, is we need some more of the item frames right here. So let's take these. Let's put the item frames. Let's take the stone and we'll make the curtain rods kind of extend the whole way. And then we'll do the banners like we had before. That way it's a little bit more uniform and decorative. I do like that. So other than that, guys, I think that's it. Maybe I can add some sort of what's behind here. There is light behind here. So maybe that would be something to shed with light. I could put something right in front of it, just like this. <laughs> like that? Yeah. That looks pretty cool. It adds a little bit of character to the room as well. I can't really put a plant here. <laughs> I can't really do it, but... Yeah, I think I like that. I think it's good. I hope you guys do too. So some finishing touches to the bathroom after looking at a little bit. I need a couple doors. So let's do an acacia door like a glass door because this portion of the bathroom isn't really private, right? It's just like a regular old bathroom uh, sink or laboratory. And behind here, we're going to need something a little bit more private so we could do it like that. I suppose I could do it like that, but flush from the wall, it almost seems a little claustrophobic and we have a little bit more room to play with in this bathroom or this portion of the bathroom. Plus. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay. Hopefully it's not too minimalistic. I really do like it, though. Um, I need you guys' help with the bedroom. <laughs> I really don't know where to place it. Let's move on to the porch. You guys really need to leave me some comments. Uh, I think I'm going to do something really, really minimalistic right here and just do like a chair and a rug and a plant. Uh, why do I type chair? That's, that's my question. Quartz. We'll do quartz and we'll position it in the corner right here just like so let's do a little lamp i'm gonna stick with the beacon design uh let's see how does that just look on the wall bam it needs a base it really does i think you know what i could do how about a hopper and like a hooper <laughs> hooper hopper Hopper, and we'll plug it into the wall. Yes, that's nice. Okay, so now we need a couple plants. Let's do cauldrons. Cauldrons, and we'll need some leaves. Uh, we'll stay with this oak leaf. That looks pretty good. We'll do, let's do a two high right here. And we can do something like a little table in the corner, maybe, and a white rug. Let's do carpet. Should we go white and light gray just to make it a little bit different? We'll go white and light gray. Just like that. Now we'll need a little table. We could probably do two tables here. Let's do a little, let's do a small little table right here. How about, ah, I know what we can use. A piston. Just a regular old piston. And instead of having, hmm, I should do, this is what I'm going to do. Just like that. <laughs> Surprise. There we go. And that's a nice little, wait, where am I? Did I not go high enough? <laughs> I did not go high enough. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice little table. Um, we could do like something white on top as well. Uh, no, I think I like it like that better. And honestly, that would make a good plant base as well. Instead of a table, let's do, let's do something for the table that's a little bit more, uh, unique. Because we can use that for a plant. So we use that, not unique, so to speak, but I'll do the gray on the side and that'll be like the table. The, like the little corner table for the, uh, the chair. And we already have a plant right here. I can do a shorter plant, but I think I like that idea of the piston uh, a lot. So let's do the piston again, but we're going to do it upside down like we did before. There we go. And yes, very, very nice. I like that. And we'll just do, let's do a different kind of leaf. What kind do we have? Spruce, maybe. Let's see. Dark oak leaves would look like that. Acacia leaves, maybe spruce leaves or birch leaves. Let's try the different ones just to make it look like a different plant. No spruce. 
That is pretty nice. That's a little bit darker of a color. Yeah, I think I like the dark oak leaves good. And I think this is probably enough for this little area, you guys. I'm happy with it. The only thing that we probably need is a little potted plant here. So let's do the flower pot and maybe a... Let's do another jungle sapling because that really looked good last time we did it. I was happy with it. Uh, where is it? Potted plant. Flower pot. That's what I'm always confused with. Flower pot. Bam. Bam. A little bit of green. I think I like it a lot, you guys. I hope y'all did too. That is going to be it for this episode. Next time we come back, I'm going to do what you guys think I should do with the bedroom. Go in the comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.